Hey there, Birdland. Big Ben here, spreading a little Christmas cheer. I want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Only five days away from Christmas Day, so hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday season. Hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas as well. But I wanted to hop on today and talk a little bit about the Orioles and what's happened recently. Michael Givens. Sounds like back with the Orioles. Spent six years with the Orioles before he was traded away back in 2020. Orioles were in the mode of getting rid of some veteran players at the time and trying to stockpile as much talent as they could into the Oriole organization, which is, by the way, the number one minor league system in all of baseball right now. Picked up Terry and Vavra, of course, in that trade, and Tyler Nevin for Michael Givens. But Michael Givens is going to be an Oriole again and excited about that. I mean, his time with the Orioles, big-time numbers that he put up mostly in a setup type role. Now he does have 31 career saves, a really solid ERA as well, but he's been much better in the seventh and the eighth inning throughout his career than he has been in the ninth inning. Although in a pinch, I think he could close for the Orioles as well, but I feel like that's gonna be the mountains job, Felix Bautista's job. So what does this do for the Orioles? Well, we know the Oriole bullpen was the backbone and probably the reason why the Orioles had so much success last year. Ninth best bullpen in all of Major League Baseball last year. So this gives them another solid setup guy. You got to think Bautista's at the very back end. But when you talk about the bullpen, you're talking about, you know, Dylan Tate, who had a wonderful season too. Of course, CNL Perez was outstanding. Bautista as well. Keegan Aiken, uh, probably in the, back, in the mix as well, along with Brian Baker, who really, really, shined, I felt like, for most of the year for the Orioles, especially at the very back end. And let's not forget about D.L. Hall. My gut tells me D.L. Hall will give a, will be given a chance in spring training to be in that rotation, but something tells me he's going to be a part of the bullpen for the Orioles. And so this makes the bullpen better, certainly for the Orioles. You're bringing a veteran guy like Michael Givens, who, look, has postseason experience, and that's big as well. Matter of fact, all three of the signings for the Orioles, what we call the bigger signings, of course, we talk about Kyle Gibson, Adam Frazier, and now Michael Givens all have postseason experience as well because the bullpen, while it's not extremely young, it's young in experience in some ways. And so you add a veteran to that mix, and it only makes it better, of course. So looking forward to that. Still very hopeful the Orioles are not finished in the free agent market. Something tells me either by trade or possibly picking up another starter could change some things, you know. And because you, you look at the starting rotation right now, and you got to think it's Gibson and Bradish. I think Grayson Rodriguez is a lock. And I think Dean Kramer and Tyler Wells are there as well. That's your five-man rotation for me. You know, unless something happens in spring training. But if you do add another veteran starting pitcher, which I think the Orioles are still in the market to do right now, that could really change some things up as well. Because you may see Tyler Wells go back to the bullpen as well. And look, if you can run out Bautista, and then you can come back with Tyler Wells, and of course, Michael Givens, CNL Perez, Brian Becker, you talk about one heck of a bullpen. So we'll see. Still a long way to go before spring training. We'll be here before you know it. I'm looking forward to it. Spring training is coming fast. Want to wish you again a very Merry Christmas from down here in Dixie. See you soon.